Hello guys, over the years I have taught literally thousands of people photography and the one thing that I notice is that they make the same mistakes. So what I'm gonna do is bring to you now them common mistakes, but more importantly, give you some tips on how to avoid them. Let's go. Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography where we teach you photography properly in a structured way by professional teachers. So I'm gonna to bring to you in this video common mistakes that beginners make and give you tips on how to avoid them. So firstly, let's go and find somewhere to bring you the first common mistake. Okay, the first beginner mistake that I see all the time is that learners go back to auto too quickly. If things are going wrong, you just flick back to auto. Well, that is a bad move. You do not learn anything in the auto modes. Stick to the manual mode and get things wrong if you have to, all right? When you make mistakes, you can learn from your mistakes. So it's important to make mistakes, so make them. And here's my tip. Carry around with you a pad and a pen. Just like this, it might seem old fashioned, but it's a good way of doing it. You write down the number of the picture that's gone wrong, and then you write down the exposure of that picture in your notepad. You can then try to figure out what's gone wrong. Has it gone too dark, too bright, too blurry, whatever. And it may be that you can figure that out there and then. You know, you take a step back, you look at your notes, and you figure it out. Or it may be that you don't figure that out for you know, a few weeks or during your learning journey. But either way, you are learning. You are learning from your mistakes. You're not going back to auto. So that is my first uh, beginner's mistake and my tip to help you improve and not make that mistake anymore. Okay, let's move on to another area and tell you the next beginner's mistake. Okay, the next common beginner's mistake is this. You do not use the frame correctly. You don't consider the whole of the frame. And what I mean by that is, you could be on holiday taking a picture of someone and there's a big umbrella coming out the back of their head or a lamppost coming out the back of their head. Now that is called composition and composition in photography is really, really important. It's a whole new subject and we've got a whole lesson on it over at the School of Photography. I'll give you a link here, go and see it. But it's really, really important to get the composition, the framing of your pictures correct. It can make or break a picture. So here is my tip. Do not use live view to take your pictures. Don't use live view as much as possible. Look through the viewfinder as much as you can. That will block out the whole rest of the world and concentrate it on that lovely little rectangle that you need to capture life in, okay? So look through the viewfinder, not the screen. And also concentrate on the background first and then your subject. Concentrate on the background first and then concentrate on what your subject is doing. That will avoid you from not considering the whole frame. And there's my tip to avoid that mistake and the other beginner's mistake. Now I'm gonna find somewhere else and tell you the next one. Okay, the next mistake I see beginners make is that they spend all their money on new equipment thinking that it's gonna make their shots miraculously better. It will not. You take the picture, not the equipment. Yes, it's nice to have new lenses and really you know, good stuff, I suppose, but it will not get you a good shot. You will get yourself a good shot. Do not become the all the gear, no idea, person and if you want to know who that person is we've made a lovely video of it and I'll put a link to it around here so that you can go and see it. So here's my tip. Get good with the equipment that you've got first before you start upgrading because that equipment, new equipment, will not make your shots better. Knowledge of photography will make your shots better. So you need to learn photography and you can do that on any piece of equipment on any camera any DSLR camera you will learn photography 
properly. And that's what's gonna get you good shots, not expensive equipment. So that's that uh, common mistake. And there's my tip for that one. Now let's find somewhere else to tell you the next tip. Okay, here is my next one. Do not learn from YouTube videos. Now you might be thinking I should be saying the opposite, seeing as I bring you YouTube videos, but it's true. I see so many people fail because they've tried to learn from YouTube videos. YouTube is vast. Anyone can make YouTube videos, as you know. And what that means is that there is a wealth of crap out there for you to learn from. Now, amongst that is some really, really good stuff, but you have to search through all of, all, through all of that and find the good stuff. And even then, how do you know that it is good and accurate knowledge. It might just be entertaining. Don't think that millions and millions of views means that it's good education. It might just be entertaining. And because you're a learning photographer, you've got nothing to base what you're seeing on. So you take it as true. Whatever you're seeing on screen, you take it as true. And it's not necessarily the case. So here is my tip. Get some proper education. If you wanted to learn how to drive, you wouldn't go to a race car driver because you'd end up crashing into a lamppost. You would go to a professional driving instructor and that's how you learn. You go to a proper teacher and they will teach you. There's no point going to any Tom, Dick or Harry that can take fancy pictures. It doesn't mean that they can teach you how to take pictures. There is a massive difference. Now I see a lot of people give up photography because of this. They spend six months to a year on YouTube just trying to fumble around and learn photography and they do one of two things. They either admit that they need to go and get some decent education or they give up photography because they think that they can't do it. And that is simply not the case. They can do it, they've just learned wrong. So save yourself some time, get some proper photography education and kickstart your photography career or your photography hobby really, really well, really solid. Okay, let's go to the next place to tell you the next bit. Okay, another mistake that I see quite a lot is that people come to me and they say, my pictures are out of focus, what am I doing wrong? And they think that their focusing is wrong, that they're getting their focus point wrong. And that's generally not the case. It's generally camera shake because camera shake can make your picture look blurry, which can make you think that your shots are out of focus. So hammer shake is caused by a slower shutter speed. And here's my tip to avoid that. If you are hand holding, if you're hand holding your camera, don't go below 125th of a second. You can on occasions go to 1 60th of a second, but I would avoid that if you really want to make sure that you don't get camera shake. And the other thing is, hold your camera properly. So if you hold your, with your right arm, you've got your grip here with your thumb and your finger free, this hand goes under the lens and then you can bring your camera, your, your arm, sorry, and your camera into your body, hold it up to your eye, and that will create like a body tripod and help you avoid camera shakes. So my tip there is to don't shoot below 125th of a second and to hold your camera properly all of the time. Okay, let's go somewhere else to do the next bit of this video. Now, if you wanna learn photography properly in a structured way by professional teachers, come over to the schooloffotography.com where we teach you photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, studio lighting, loads of photography stuff. There's freebies over there as well, so you can try before you buy. Come over and see us. We can help you learn photography properly. 
Okay, like I said, I have taught thousands of people over the years. 2002, I started teaching photography, and they are the common mistakes that I find again and again and again, and I really, really hope that it helps you out and them tips help you avoid making them mistakes. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel for more of this kind of stuff, hit that bell button so you get notified of our videos. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography. Okay, the next mistake I see people make a lot is that trains go past just as you're doing your thing. Stop and start, dude. <laughs>